Hey guys, Chad here. In this tutorial, I go over some of the new features in the CS5 Deco tool. The Deco tool was actually introduced in Flash CS4. However, it came with limited presets. CS5 has introduced a whole bunch of stuff to it, and so it's actually a pretty useful tool if you're looking for some quick animations or graphics. So let's go ahead and check it out. First, you just go ahead and click it right on your toolbar, pretty simple. And you'll come up here to your properties box, and now you'll see you have some options here. The first thing is the drawing effect. This is where you get your main options from. So if you click this drop down menu, you'll see that you have a bunch of different options to choose from. Let's just go ahead and start with the first one, the vine fill. So what you do is you click that, and you simply come over here to your stage, and you click your mouse button down, and before you know it, it's just like automatically drawing a vine pattern for you. And again, this isn't um, anything spectacular maybe in itself, but if you think about it, it's actually a pretty cool thing in that it basically creates a preset graphic for you. And in this particular um, instance, if you come over here, and if you import some symbols into your um, project, you can actually replace these leaves and flowers with um, different symbols. So let's say maybe you have some cartoon characters you want to put on the vine, which I'm not sure why you want to do that particularly, but that's just an example of what you can do. And of course you can change the colors and all that stuff, the pattern scale, and you just have different options to choose from. So I'm just going to go ahead now and just delete this, and let's go ahead and choose something else. We can do some actual animations with this tool now. So let's go down here and check out the fire animation um, effect. Of course, again, you have some options here, the fire size, speed, duration, and so on. But just go over here to your stage, and you just click your mouse button down, and you just move it and go. And as you can see, it's automatically animating for you. And as you can see down here on the timeline, it actually drew out the frames automatically. So if you go back to frame one and we hit enter, you have a fire trail effect going on. And again, just like really easy to do. You don't really have to put much thought into it at all. So if you're looking for that quick fix, this might do it for you. So let's just look at one more here. I'm just gonna make a new layer here and go back to my tool. Let's go ahead and choose the building brush. Now, again, just click your mouse button down and move it up and you have a building and you can just keep doing this and before you know it you can create a skyline and again it's just like really easy to do and of course you can go in here into the advanced options and maybe you don't want it to be a random building maybe you want it to be a particular building each time you put it down so you can just like oh I want skyscraper too and then it'll just do that for you in different variations like that in sizes so Anyway, that is the Deco tool, and again, if you're looking for a quick um, graphic or animation, definitely check it out. So anyway, hope you guys found this helpful, and I'll see you guys next time.